Oh, I got nothing I can do. I'm going to hold my money. Okay, we're turning him into the fire bat because we're getting the fire bat. He's going to be our fire bat boy. What's our general status, Matt? General status, Matt. Transmission. So for this mission... I don't have a plan. <laughs> Let's just go. Alright, heading on this way. Bring the medics behind. I think we'll go smash and grab after this, though. I don't want to do Outbreak right after it. It's too many defense missions. I know that Outbreak's not, like, strictly a defense mission, but... It plays a lot of defense missionage, and the Hellion is not a unit I'm super excited to have unlocked. I know that, uh... I know that that's shocking to a lot of people, but the the Firebat and specifically the Devil Dog actually has some really nice value. So I do like I do like having them available because Devil Dogs are super tanky for super cheap. However, the the the, the Hellion is bad. It's so bad. I don't want a Hellion ever. There's no worker lines to harass. The fire bat. Fire fire. Is it, uh. Is it better? Oh, we got an email. Commander Rayner, I don't have enough men to I'll cover both sides of the camp as well as the transport. Help us Please help the us colony. defend the entrance ramp to the east of the base, or the Zerg will kill us. Nice. Okay. Easy peasy. So, first of all. Can't right now. <laughs> well, I'll try my best. Send a marine or two. Yeah, I can send some marines over to help our AI ally. Go ahead. Ready to then we're going to go up here. Ask him for a drop. All right. Drop me, buddy. We'll need to escort the convoys all the way to the main starport for them to have a chance of escaping. Let's go grab planet. some of the cash. I really like uh, A. We'll I think that soon. every mod should always Somewhere focus right on here. having those Both emails at the beginning. Road. Just because it's really, 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 really easy to know what you're supposed to do when they exist. It uh, doesn't get lost in the static of everything that's happening in the base StarCraft campaign. And then... Oh, here's Deke. Uh, I don't... I'm going to put Deke in a bunker over there. Uh, what else am I doing? Yeah, basically, I just, I like it when they tell me what I'm supposed to, oh, we can build on this road. That's also very nice. Okay. Don't stop for anything. Let's roll. Got a couple of reactors, get one of these, and we have to go and do some escorting. So did he actually drop these? Did he give them to me or what happened here? By the numbers. Because he definitely, I have two extra fire bats, and I did the drop command, but I don't know if those two things are related. Set this up right here. Oh, drop commands does give you the units. Interesting. Well, not going to complain about free stuff. The drop command only works once per mission. All right. It's sad that we can't get him to drop, though. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> I would rush to Medivax if we could convince my ally to just drop random stuff all the time. Oh, 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 okay. Um, Was one of the units that we can get them to focus on the Predator? Like, as I said, I'm doing fire bats for him right now just because... Why not? But, like... I like the idea of making him build the stuff that I don't want to, but are also fun to have, and are actually pretty good. But I'm so concerned about money that it's hard to justify. And the Predator is definitely that. He can't build Predators, darn. Well, someday. Remember, this mod is only a prelude. There will eventually be the ultimate AI ally mod where I can just kick back and give them commands and they'll, they'll win the game for me. That's the long-term goal. Eventually it'll be Giant Grant Games powered by AI. 
It's a long haul to the starport, partner. And then I'm going to teach Eleven Labs to use my voice, and I'm going to rig up a uh, VTuber that looks exactly like me. And eventually this entire Twitch YouTube stream thing is going to be AI-powered and no one's going to be able to tell. And yes, that is a future that I'm terrified of. Why are we... I guess we're building up here. I will help. You here, you here. Uh, we get the attack upgrade, then we get the scopes upgrade. I have literally nobody on gas. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wonder why I'm just so poor on gas all the time. Oh, you gotta mine it. Hmm. No one ever told me how the economy works. I need an email about that. Get to the starport, move it! You want a piece of me, boy? Okay. One, two. By the numbers, boy. Buckle my shoe! Ah, no! Well, we got buckled, boys. <laughs> There's some fire bats in the front. We're not tanking. So, my thought here is basically I'm just going to let my ally defend for a really long time. And then we're going to transition into a big push on the enemy bases with the friends. Because, I don't know, it seems fun. Can we actually get them to, like, defend this target? I'm not sure. I'm just going to watch what they do. Short on minerals, but I'll do what I can. So these responses, these are baked into the actual StarCraft II client, right? They're uh, the way the AI works if you play like a 2v2 with an AI ally, I believe. I don't know which things are custom made for the mod and which are using that system, but I think that using that system is really intelligent. Because Blizzard put a lot of work into it, and then it just didn't get... <laughs> Ooh. That roach burrowed. It didn't get utilized by the large majority of the player base, so I love seeing it here. I think I've told this story before, but uh, back when all that stuff was added, I started playing with my friend Boots quite a decent bit on StarCraft 2. And... I was way better than him, so he would. We would often do uh, four versus me, so he and three AIs versus me. But eventually, he learned that he could command them all to cheese me at the same time. <laughs> it turns out it's really difficult to be able to hold off when they're all doing like fifty supply timing attacks. It wasn't actually cheesing, but uh, yeah, he got to the point where he would focus on building up his economy, and then he would start sending money to the AI allies. <laughs> and then they would macro properly and kill me. So it stopped being viable. I think at this point I could probably hold, though. I mean, I did the, uh... Versus 8 AI thing. Back when Euthermal was doing that, I gave it a try, and it wasn't that bad. It was really boring, though. So, yeah, I could probably beat four, but having a player commanding is... It definitely makes it harder. Yeah, Deke is not building fire bats. I wouldn't be surprised if the reason is we don't actually unlock fire bats until the end of the mission, technically. And it said that he can't build stuff that we don't have unlocked. Oh, yeah, he has no gas geyser, too. Uh, is there a... There's no command to give your ally money, right? Like, we don't have the clicky box up here that you normally do. Been waiting on you. Well, he's going to be a lot safer because he's not building fire bats, so I'm not going to be sad. <laughs> he sent some stuff over here. All right, Deke. Let's go. No, sir. Not right now. What? This is insubordination. You can't do that. This better be good. You gonna give me orders? I want a refund. <laughs> why, is he, why is he like this? That's not nice. 
Well, we'll wait until the escort is done. Maybe he's just a good citizen and he wants to make sure that they're all safe. Try the defend command, see if we can get him to defend the enemy base. I like that. That actually is pretty smart. Got to build a turret here so they stop burrowing their roaches. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's sending out a defense squad. You're a genius. You're a genius, random person in the chat. Whoa. Um, that was a lurker, and I don't have scam. Oh, that was Bro Bane, too. Cool. Hmm. Sir, we just detected Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. I can't give you an exact fix, but they're heading your way. Let's, uh... Try not die here. We have another convoy ready to be escorted, Commander. Your defense was bad. Yeah, I got you defended, but you got to get the enemy defended. It's only fair. Here, could you attack now? Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, he wants to do the bonus objective. Okay. <laughs> sure. What's going on, bud? Gangway, coming through. <laughs> Been waiting on you. Yeah, he's playing the objective. He's just better than I am. Go, go, go. I'm overbuilding production. Here. Let's go. Because we max out at that hundred supply, so we're gonna lose big chunks of stuff sometimes. Oh, he managed to lose something over there. Nice. Wait, is he sending an escort squad to protect these guys? What's he doing with those? Not entirely sure. Let's just send them to defend right here. This area is looking fine. Heal it up. Oh, he figured out how to fire bat. Look at that. Really good job for that guy. That's a lot of stuff. If we have enough burst damage, we can just blast through the roaches before they burrow. We're probably going to need to put a turret over here. I wouldn't be surprised if there were some burrowed roaches just chilling out over there at this point. Got to keep the APC alive. It doesn't really matter that much, but it is nice to do. The APC driver at least appreciates it. Somehow, Elon has not invented self-driving APCs. Even though he promised it like seven years ago. There we go. He's doing a pretty good job of just like putting stuff around. He really likes that bonus objective. It's his favorite. Alright. I hate you, Deke. I understand that you're doing a very good job, but I can... I'm telling you to do something that is against your best interest, so please do it. It's like being a parent who has a smart kid. There's a lot of ultras here. Sir, I'm picking up seismic Specifically being a bad parent. Most parents don't tell their kids to do things that are against their best interest. It's just like it. Keep things nice and interesting. Oh! We're almost done, Commander. Space Bane Another convoy will be starting out soon. Hey, he sent some defenses. That's really nice of him. Those are just draw pods. Looked like some weird messed up Nidus worm for a moment. Because of the way that they froze off screen. Okay. He, he was he was very against helping me here, but it's all right. He he's got this area covered. If there is a giant wave of defense that comes to resecure the second bonus objective, he'll be on it. Is the road safe up ahead? 
Guess we'll find out. All right, this is the last group of guys. Nice. Boss Zerg numbers are going up. We may be short on time. That's fine. That's fine. Why don't you go and defend yourself? Oh, so you're fine. Yeah, you're short on this. It's fine. He's okay with defending himself. He's just not okay with attacking. Everyone knows that Deke is a pacifist. Oh my gosh, the Nidus Worm. Far less intimidating than the drop pod. <laughs> drop pods send out like 67 guys. The Nidus, hey, I could do two Zerglings. Let's just send a bunch of guys over here to make sure. I don't want my best friend forever to be busted. He doesn't deserve that. Sick, Nidus. Incredible. I have to say, seven range marines. We may have gotten a lot of things that are overpowered in the Junker mod, or in Mobius, or in the uh, UED First Light faction, but nothing is as good as seven range marines. <laughs> Legitimately the most powerful unit I've ever seen. One upgrade. Even if they do less DPS, it does not matter. Because they do more DPM. Damage per Marine. Look at that. Beautiful. If only the weapon speed was also 7, then we'd have 777, seven, seven, which would be truly jackpot Marines. Our allies are being attacked. I wonder if we were supposed to, like, go over here and find a Nidus to destroy. That's the last of them. Go. Lift off now. Maybe. We sure didn't do it, though. We've lost the colony. But my people got out alive, thanks to you, Commit. She just doesn't care about the Marines that sacrificed themselves right there. She's like, my people got out alive. Who are those people down there? Oh, there must not be my people. <laughs> my people don't die. Alrighty, let's check out a little bit of Devil Dogs. Heck yeah, baby. I'm a big Devil Dog fan. You know what? Let's get some Juggernaut plating. Let's go regret some life decisions. Uh, head to the armory. I'm not going to build normal fire bats, but Devil Dogs, they've never hurt me. Which is a core issue with their design. But they, they're very defensive, which is great. Check out our allies, see if we can get anything more. Looks like none of those are available yet. So we can head on over to the bridge and... The Mobius boys yeah. Think there's another artifact that'll... We can go to Smash and Grab. There it is, Jimmy. Just... I, I don't really want to go to Redstone because I'm concerned for my ally. I don't think they're going to be very smart there. Yeah, Deke does benefit from the armory. That's what it said at the very beginning. So, uh, when we tell him to focus on fire bats... Oh, what? In the rear with the gear. Why does he get to be in the Gilded Age of Deke? Wow. Kind of want to... Kind of want to kill Deke and take his base. Does that make me a bad person? No. It makes me economical. Alright, so we do have the objective over here. Uh, he's already got a bunker up, so I'm just gonna sit behind the bunker. And we're gonna chill. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders. The latest word in Big Bada Boom Hardware. Oh, I love Big Bada Boom Hardware. I'm sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. So one thing I'm thinking about is that Marines, not Marines, uh, mercenaries are going to be very important here because we are trapped at 100 supply. So having very supply efficient units are going to be a big piece of this mission, or of this campaign. Just so that my squads that are going around are actually able to do stuff and I don't have to 100% rely on my allies. So that's why, that's why we're getting these and the hammer securities very early. Then I think that I want to go to Welcome to the Jungle pretty quick. Spot some Protoss to the west. Clear the area so they won't hit us from the back, then proceed to our main objective, okay? You gonna give me I don't want to answer no. That seems really nice. 
Yeah, let's go do that. I mean, if he goes, I goes, and then, yeah. Good strategying. I like the fact that it defaults to uh, one option. I think that's cool. That way that if you miss it, it doesn't mess up. It uh, takes into consideration the fact that there it is uh, just text when most things are voiced. And you might be in a fight or something. You never know. And those things happen. So that's smart design, in my opinion. Get wrecked, Roach. Gonna have to get some guys on gas. But right now, not a super big deal. Yeah, we're at 14 of 21, so... Gas Ahoy, big marine energy. And I'm gonna start poking over here. Oh, this is a rebel bunker, so Deke doesn't repair it. Interesting. Well, I appreciate the Rebels coming to help. <laughs> they brought all four of their friends. Oh, well. Hey, get back here. <laughs> Has anyone got a net? Whoa! <laughs> okay, um. Defend! Yes, sir. Deke loves defending. Every time I tell him to defend, he's so excited. Every time I tell him to attack, he's like, I don't know what that means, sir. That's impossible. But, oh, and he can just chill out at home. He's a happy boy. Oh, what? No, no, don't go that way. You said you were going to go the Protoss. Ah, Deke. Well, I mean, he'll clear it. <laughs> he's got a personality, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh. Oh, look at that. He truly is Firebatten. That is wonderful. I'm so happy. Okay. Wait, did he say he was doing the Protoss on the left? I thought he said on the east for some reason. I'll be honest, I, uh, I've been reading everything as East because I had an issue where I was writing a script earlier today and I had to replace a bunch of Wests with Easts because I said it like four times and it was wrong. And now I've just been, uh, oh yeah, that's truly a barracks, isn't it? But this area looks pretty safe. So yeah, I'm a little discombobulated with my directions because I had to hammer it into my head one way when it was, uh... I was messing up earlier today. What? Take down take down the High Templar. Why is there a Nexus here? Janara? <laughs> Why is Janara's forces here? Why did she build a Nexus in a dump spot? What you doing, Janara? You're really bad at your job still. I assume that there's going to be like a base here that our boy can expand from or something. It could be weast like SpongeBob. You're actually right. That's really smart. Okay, blast over here, and then head on down south, and we're gonna go do the bonus objective. There's a little bit of rich mineral fields over here, so uh, our friend can have those. Here we go. It's time to slap. Double dogs survive! Well, one of them survived. They're much better against Zerg because the armor actually matters. Okay, well. Let's go grab a couple of these. Oh! Hey, prove that you're better against Zerg, please. Okay, run away. Yeah. You did it. You did better against Zerg. I'm so proud of you. I need medics. I wish I could, uh, tell him to focus on medics halfway through the mission. 
Yeah, he's putting up a legit army. He is properly spending his money and everything, which is awesome. He is queuing like a newbie, though. Um, that's a bold choice, my bro. Like, I have cleared over here for very... I don't remember why, <laughs> but I've done it. But I'm not convinced that that is necessarily the best strat. Well, well. Uh, let's uh, tell him to defend. Wait, Deke told Deke that we've got... Why do we have multicolored Deeks? Am I Deke? Have I been Deke this whole time? Oh. Is that the plot twist? Did I just uncover this entire thing? Go ahead. Armed and ready. Wait. It was purple. But the Zerg Swarm is purple. <laughs> Wait a moment. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, send me some friends. Thank you. Oh, there he is. No, defend. Defend, defend, defend. Okay. Our allies are being attacked. Been waiting on you. We're just gonna go this way. Uh I don't like him. Don't leave me hanging. But I do know how to shoot him. We got one of these, and then we'll get some more pigs after, and then we're gonna blast this nerd. We got time to wait. Because I'm kind of stalling out on these upgrades. And... Roll the hurt. Oh, no. Devil dog, get in the front. Protect those people. Okay, Marauders. Finish these off. I just want the Marsara Rebels bunker to survive. I hope they get one bunker every mission for the rest of this. And that's all the Marsara Rebels we have for all time. Firebats in the front, and then... Not defend. Not b back up, uh, attack. No, I ping too much. <laughs> Just gets mad at me for spamming. <sighs> Let's do this. Look at how many firebats he's built. They were not joking when they said that he was going to favor them. <laughs> It is not a minor thing. Wow. Got it. This is actually really nice. Having this much frontline tanking that I didn't have to pay for is legitimately very good. Uh, we're going to poke through this. Oh, he's going up. Okay. I wanted to go get the bonus. But you know what? He's last in a really long time. He gets the Juggernaut Plating Upgrade. He did his best for us. I'm... I'm legitimately happy with the way that that went. Like, that... It wasn't a meme. Apparently our enemy is getting 1-1 one -one upgrades. I'm sure. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm considering getting the attack radius upgrade so my ally can have it. It feels like a crime. I feel like I'm telling you that I'm planning on doing something illegal. But honestly, yeah. But, <sighs> For some reason, I keep thinking that attack is going to be the one to the right some weird thing in my head. I don't know what game that's from. But it's obviously from something. Looks like this is not changed in any way, shape, or form. Which means it's going to be pretty easy. Yeah, that's fine with me. And we got our little dude. Our little Zelnaga piece. I got a crew coming down to pick up the artifact. Hmm. Do we get, do we get Infernal Gauntlets, guys? 
I I think we do. 